Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascape. Fish. Bolas, come on. Fish. We're changing and we're continuing the series that we started two weeks ago. This order contains about 500 fish. And how many species? Mm, I think it's 30 maybe. 30 different species. Yeah. Without further ado, let's go. First bag. So these fish are the Brigitte. These are the smallest fish that I know. But I think this is the most famous. I really like the little uh, line in their red body. They have like a blue line in there. Also their mouth is really small, yeah. so I'm always having trouble feeding them. How many Boraras uh, types we have here? We have the Brigitte. We have the Rotomoides. The Mara. Mara. And the Maculatus. This is probably the most exciting part of the fish room for me personally, because you've got all the different shrimp there and the nano fish, and you've got the betas here. We've got some really cool beta photography going on from Tommy. I'm gonna to show you some pictures. All right, and uh, let's do the next one now which would be your choice. Okay. Oh, the Corridoras. Yeah, this is the Corridoras Pondo. You've got quite a few species of Corridoras here at Green Aqua. Yeah, at the I moment, we have got eight species. Eight species, yeah. And I really like the laser. So how many fish arrived dead here, actually, in, in a box like this? Do you usually have fish death or not? Mm, sometimes, but it's it's not uh, quite a lot. Another Corridoras, the Corridoras Yuli. And I really like the Yuli name because it's like in Hungarian, that's Julia. So the nickname for Julia is Yuli. Oh, four katas. Those are my favorite fish. You know why? Because they're blonde and blue eyed. It's not very popular yeah. for some reason. I just love them. Let's introduce them. Hey guys. The friends are here. There are no other fish in this tank. These fish are fast swimmers, so we don't really want them to stress out the others. Oh wow, you've got the Atiopsis uh, gaboensis shrimp here, which are freshwater shrimp. Those are really beautiful. I don't think that you can keep them with regular shrimp though, because they're gonna fight with each other. You've got some dwarf guramis here, which are really cool because they're really peaceful in contrary with the big guramis. You can keep them together with other fish and stuff. It's also an algae eater, but I can't remember the name. You can just go back and shout it to me. <laughs> it's a Belfortia quaecovensis. Belfortia quaecovensis. <laughs> These are not good algae eaters, but it looks like it's funny. Right, so the next one is actually, what's the Latin name for this? A Trigonostigmo heteromorpho. Okay, this is like Hengeli, but a bit bigger. It's gonna look good in bigger tanks. Not grow up much bigger size. It's like higher, right? Yeah. If you want a classic nature aquarium style, you can actually think about having these, right? I'm gonna take the Trigonostigmo heteromorpho because I can't even pronounce that. You're gonna say the name of this one again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> the Cardinal Tetra, yeah. the red neons, as we call it in Hungary. The red neons are really cool fish. You have to know that they need uh, higher temperatures to feel good. So they're not really suitable for planted tanks. So these are the reds. These are the green ones. No, blue. These are the blue ones. Okay, yeah. we forgot to tell about the green ones. 
The green ones are the smallest ones. Do we have it? It's, yeah. it's right here. Can you pan? Some angel fish. Angel fish, cool. Yeah, they don't have the black stripes visible because they're stressed at the moment. They really like angel fish. And these were the fish that uh, actually Mr. Amano had in his big home tank at the beginning. They used the autumn version, not, not this color like this one. Oh, here's some fish that needs to be released in the tank. These are also scalare fish. Just a koi version. This is why I told you in the previous video that you need to take in consideration how much these fish grow. This kind of angel fish need big tank size. I suggest 200 liters maybe. And then we have the Botia fish. Chromobotia macrocanthus. Really, really beautiful. We have two bags of them. They live on the bottom of the tank? Yeah, it's also when uh, you can use it if you have got some snails problem. You really have to be careful not to, to use them in tanks that you have pressure snails. What is that? Colibri, this is beautiful. I really like them and it's also really cool fish to use in, uh, in planted tanks because they're accentuated pinkish, yellowish uh, colors. And this one is the gold version. And this thing is the goby fish. They also swim on the bottom of the tank. It's also a good algae eater. What kind of algae would it eat? The black brush algaes. Are you like looking at everything from an algae eating perspective? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, does <laughs> it eat algae? Yeah, it's cool. Let's <laughs> just keep it. We have some smaller ones in there and you can see the difference. We got quite big ones. They can dig. The problem is that they, if they get frightened, they can just dig themselves into the soil. All right, so the uh, Friday afternoon traffic has just started at Green Aqua, and this is one of the busiest periods of the time of our sales. CPOs, why do they keep them together like this? Because they can fight each other. But you put them in the same tank, right? So it's like when they don't have space, then they fight. Don't put too much CPOs in one small tank. Sakura shrimp. These are really nice and we like these better than red cherry shrimp. They don't the multiply stronger, and then and, and it's color. Just, yeah, the coloring is much better. Oh, these are the galaxies. I've been talking about these little fish a lot. They have a pecking order. And the good news is... The first box is empty. The first box is empty. So I'm gonna... <laughs> Most of these fish are coming from the wholesaler to Green Aqua, but uh, the wholesaler, where, where do they get them from? They order from, from Asia, and about 90% of fish come from Asia. Well, two types of snails. These no, are it's the... three types of snails. Where's the other one? One, two, three. Well, these are not the same type. No. I immediately recognize the snail-eating snails. This is the assassin snails. So these are the uh, zebra nearite snails and I quite like them, they grow big. And these are the black helm snails. These are also good algae eaters. Some people have a, a snail infestation in their tanks and I'm always saying that's not a problem when the biological equilibrium will be established in the tank, then it's not gonna be a problem to have snails because their numbers will be limited. But you can also have the botia, when you can have the assassin snails to kill them. Be it's careful like... because the, the botia also can dig. Okay, what's next? I can already see that these are really kubotai. kubotai. The rasbora kubotai, and these look like almost transparent at the moment. We have got a lot of, lot of amino shrimps. Check this out. And you also put some 
fine filter mesh in there. Why do you do that? Because it's not good if they just catching together. We've got the algae eaters here and, and obviously for algae eaters you need algae. So we never clean these tanks. And we sometimes do put in some plants that came in pots and got some algae. If we put them in here for cleaning, after a couple of days, it's going to be crystal clear. Not a couple of days, because usually in this tank we like have... Like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> like an hour, because usually we have got 150 or 200 dominoes. I've got some nice shrimp here as well. I've got the orange sakura, sakura shrimp. This is Dory's favorite. Oh, wow, the shrimps. Oh, and the yellow ones. Oh, I always wanted like yellow ones. The second one is also empty. Okay, so uh, what we do here now is that we're gonna like punch some holes. Yes. Yeah. Let's just do it. And until then, I'm gonna explain to you that uh, these will stay in these punched bags for at least two, three hours. <laughs> here is my special tool. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think uh, we ran out of boxes for today. <laughs> and he also jumped into the picture. <laughs> Thanks, Lori, for helping me with this. I'm sure that I You're could welcome. not have done this alone with all these names and, and I really need your insight into the fish. You guys can learn a lot from, from Dory, Dory, Lori now. I'm pretty confused. <laughs> Thank you, the, the wifey, <laughs> brother. <laughs> He's gonna answer your questions in the comments below for a couple of days. And after that, I'm gonna let him work. So please post any fish related questions only in the first uh, couple of days after publishing this video. Later on, we're not gonna be able to answer. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you didn't do so yet. Hit that like button and we'll see you next week. Next week. I'll, I'll see you next week. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to take care of the fish, right? <laughs> Thanks again. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. <laughs>